in the name of Jesus and by his grace. Hallelujah. Right now, where are we? We are very close to the end of the church age. What we are doing, you and I, is called eschatology in Bible terms, in biblical terms, in Bible schools. Eschatology means the study of the end time events. Eschatology means the study of end time events. You don't need a prophet or a prophetess to tell you that we are at the end time. You don't need. You don't see and hear what is going on around the whole wild world. Not even in a nation in particular, but among the nations, in different parts of the nations, in the nations, in humanity. What is going on, all that is going on, you will, will convince you that we are ready at perilous times. And what must we do? We must be ready. We must be happy that Christ is going to appear. Rapture is for believers. Christ is coming for believers. Christ's second coming is different. That means Christ is coming with believers. There's a difference. And the difference is for and with. At rapture time, Christ is coming for the church to remove the church away from the turbulent world because there's going to be great tribulation. There will be going, there's going to be great tribulation, great tribulation that the Bible says had never been in history of mankind. But 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9 tells us that that kind of great tribulation from God is not, is not meant for us Christians, not meant for believers, meant for the unbelieving world and the wicked people. Meant for the enemies of God. He's going to show his wrath to his enemies. So how can we be here? We cannot be here because we are not enemies of God. Hallelujah. I hope you understand it. So there's a difference between rapture and Christ's second coming. There is going to be a period of seven years between the rapture and Christ's second coming. The seven years will be for the great tribulation. You understand? We're going to be seeing um, like an introduction to the tribulation time before Christ comes for us. And finally, when the Antichrist shows up in Jerusalem and the, at the temple, then you know that the rapture is imminent. Hallelujah. We're not going to get that one again today. So I said eschatology means the study of end time events. Hallelujah. And uh, prophet Ezekiel, among many other prophets that God Almighty used in the past, in those days, to prepare mankind for what will happen, for what will happen then at their own time, what will happen at our own time right now, and what will happen later. So we cannot say we are not aware of what had happened, what is happening now and what will happen later. You are being warned and being warned to prepare and expectantly, joyfully expect rapture, joyfully expect Christ's second coming, joyfully expect the appearance of Christ Jesus. Biblical prophecies are not to scare us, but to prepare us. Thanks for sharing this video. When you, when you, Get prepared.